Here is your Forbes Daily Briefing for Wednesday, April 24th. Today on Forbes, meet the billionaire betting big on an idyllic island retreat in the Philippines. The pitch is for tropical paradise, turquoise waters that lap a pristine shoreline fringed by lush, mist-streaked greenery. Philippine property giant Megaworld extols on its Facebook page the virtues of Palawan Island, the largest of a 1,780 island group by the same name that hangs to the left of the island nation in the Pacific. Here, Megaworld is pursuing its most complex project yet, a resort and residential estate that will be the island's biggest real estate development to date. On 462 hectares in San Vicente, quiet, relatively untouched corner of Palawan's northern coast, known for its rich biodiversity, virgin forests, steep karst cliffs, and the longest white sand beach in the Philippines, Megaworld has a 15-year plan to raise a township from among the coconut trees, an eco-friendly addition, it says, to its hospitality, office, retail, and residential portfolio that spans the country. When finished, Paragua Coast Town will include two 10-story hotels, a residential condominium, villas, a hospital, a school, and wellness-related centers. Megaworld, owned by billionaire Andrew Tan's spirits-to-property conglomerate Alliance Global Group, is pouring over 40 billion pesos, or $720 million, into the venture, a tenth of what it plans to spend on building townships across the Philippines in the next five years. The company is banking on getting in on the ground floor as the island remakes itself into one of the country's top tourist destinations. Some 1.5 million people, of which about 650,000 were overseas travelers, visited the island in 2023, nearly twice as many as the previous year, according to government figures, as tourists returned to the Philippines post-COVID. Boracay, the archipelago's most popular resort island, had over 2 million visitors last year. Kevin Tan, Andrew's eldest son and Megaworld's executive vice president and chief strategy officer, in an email says, quote, We intend to showcase the best sustainable tourism and green living concepts by developing it into an ecotourism township. San Vicente is seen as the next frontier in the island's commercial boom, catching up to Palawan's other island centers where tourism is flourishing, including its capital, Puerto Princesa City, home to the 8.2-kilometer underground river, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and El Nido, a municipality comprised of small islands at Palawan's northern tip that has in recent years become a playground for backpackers and jet-setters alike. Ayala Land, controlled by billionaire Jaime Zobel de Ayala and his family, has already made inroads as El Nido's biggest developer, owning the 325-hectare Leo Tourism Estate along with four other resorts in the town's smaller islands. Megaworld broke ground last year on its 306-room Savoy Hotel Palawan and the nearby 189-unit Oceanfront Premier Residences Tower, which are both slated to be completed in 2028. Construction of the 313-room Paragua Sands Hotel, which will open in 2029, has yet to start. Most rooms will have water views, and the hiking trails of the Pagdanan mountain range, home to threatened wildlife such as the Philippine cockatoo, gray imperial pigeon, and blue-naped parrot are a short drive away. Tan says, quote, More than just sustainable tourism, our vision for Paragua Coast Town is to be able to provide an opportunity to those who want to live the island life within a lush and sustainable landscape. To that end, he says Megaworld will incorporate solar and other renewable energy sources into its building design. There will be a waste-to-energy plant to supply electricity to the township as part of a new waste management system and sewage treatment center. Ana Margarita Lustre Malihan, vice president at local hotelier and construction firm Arlustre Group, believes such developments will be a huge boon for Palawan, bringing jobs and income to the island where about 15% of the population falls below the poverty line. It could also be a tipping point to improve accessibility to the area. There's an airport in San Vicente, but Philippine Airlines and Cebu Pacific, two of the nation's main airlines, don't fly there. Getting to San Vicente, means a 90-minute flight from Manila, or Cebu, to Puerto Princesa and a bumpy four-hour car ride across rugged terrain. Cebu Pacific CEO Michael Zucks tells Forbes Asia that the airline will consider flying to San Vicente once the Megaworld hotels are built.
For full coverage, check out Jonathan Burgos's piece on Forbes.com. This is Kieran Meadows from Forbes. Thanks for tuning in.